Hey you guys, it's Lacey, and I wanted to talk to you about the new update. Um, it is currently a considered a test build. So to get it, you have to go into Steam, right click on Oxygen Not Included, go to Properties, then there's gonna be a tab that says Betas, and then you use the drop down and go to the one that says Thermal something or other. And that's how you get it, that's it. But you can't load any of your save files from the previous build. So don't do it until you're ready. Also, it is a test build, so they're still fixing things. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I figured I'd talk about some of the changes that happened and some of the things that are more difficult or not as difficult. The biggest change is the ice biomes have been added. I feel like that's the biggest change, like the most noticeable when you first load into the game. Um, there are several ice biomes and they have these wheeze warts, which take warm air and make cold air to keep it chilly in there. Also temperature conductivity has been fixed. So if something's cold that's next to something else that's warm, they'll actually change temperature. Though I have no idea why these are cold. Absolutely no idea. Another really important thing they've added is wires have a certain wattage that they can withstand. So we have a high wattage wire that can take two kilowatts and we have a regular electrical wire that can take a thousand watts, which is basically one kilowatt. You could hover over them like this and you could see that the heavy watt wire I have here has only 240 watts on it. Um, that's because this giant beast down here isn't going. Um, so I have two separate circuits because this takes 960 watts, which is a lot to draw. So I can't draw it across the entire network. So I have a small battery here that runs both my micro musher and my liquid tepidizer so that I don't have 960 watts getting pulled across everywhere where I might have 240 watts getting pulled or I might have multiple things that are 240 watts and it put it over wattage. This way it just keeps your wire safer. If you put super large things on their own circuit with a little generator and a tiny battery, it works just fine. This also is on a switch, a thermo switch. So it only runs when it gets under a certain temperature um, to keep these plants happy. If you left this running all the time, eventually you'd get steam. I actually did it earlier. So this is also added in the update. It's a thermo switch. You can say warmer than or colder than. Um, so right now I have it heating my water so I can grow these thimble reeds, which grow in these aquatic farm tiles. Um, right now I have it set colder. If it gets colder than 31.9 degrees Celsius, it'll heat these up um, so that these will keep growing. Um, they have to grow in water, so we're heating the water. So after your plants are harvested three times, they don't make another seed. Um, so mealwood eventually dies and goes away and you keep having to find more seeds. So it's actually beneficial to use the micro musher to make the lice loaves, um, even though it uses water because we have more resources of water now, like the geysers that make water and steam. You have to be careful around these because they can scald your duplicates, um, hurt them, cause wounds. So just be careful. See how hot it is around here. It's really warm. If you click on this, see the temperature is very hot. It's uncomfortable for them when they're in here. Um, another thing that can happen is your machines can be damaged if they get too hot. Um, I've already completed all my research, so I got rid of them, but several times because I had the research going so long, the machine overheated, had to be repaired and started scalding my duplicates, which is obviously bad. We don't want that to happen. So I had to turn it off and wait for it to cool down and then turn it back on again. Another important thing that uh, showed up this build is clothes. So I have queued here to build a snazzy vest it, and they are working on it apparently. Let's set it to nine so we can get them to go work on it. Okay, here we go. They're knitting a warm sweater right now. We'll see whenever it's done what it looks like and how it works. So here our warm sweater is completed. You click on the warm sweater and you can assign it to a duplicate. So I'm going to give, I guess I'll give this sweater to 
Nails. Here she comes. There she goes. Okay, now Nails has a warm sweater. See? She's wearing a warm sweater. And if you want to unequip it, you just click unequip clothing and you're done. Anyway, these are a few of the things that have changed with the update. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me when I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern or when I post a video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And always remember you're special and amazing and thank you for being you. Love you guys, bye.